Why is it so good? Fantastico. This might be the best Pokemon region of all time. What's up PokeChamps, Infamous here and after many showcases of showing regions based off Avatar, Greece, the US West Coast, and even China, I think it's about time to show one of the most requested regions being the Maza region. Now quickly for those who don't know what this amazing region is, it's a region created by the channel Subjectively and spearheaded by Jack and Claire with the help of the community they have. Subjectively has made an amazing region based off Mexico with themes of Mesoamerican culture and goes into detail not only about the world building but about the art itself and even was a great inspiration for myself to create the Neos region. So I very much have to give a shout out to Jack and all of the Subjectively team members because you guys created not only an amazing region but amazing content. But that means today we'll be looking at all of the Mazo region in all its glory from the starter Pokemon to new Pokemon we can add to our team and even the return of Mega Evolution. Hold up, hold up. Did I tell you they have a fan game in the works? So join me as we explore the Mazo region and Pokemon Untamed. Alright, so you guys already know the drill, but if you don't, as we go along, I'm going to be looking at these for the first time alongside some of you. I have seen some of these Pokemon before, but not all of them. So as we go on, make sure you guys let me know what Pokemon are joining your team. Alright, to kick off the Mazda region, we have Malukata, one of my favorite designs in this entire region. Because it's so different than every standard grass starter Pokemon. It can also be a bug type, if we're being honest, but I love it being a pure grass type. This is incredible, as it actually evolves into Expersum. This, it just gives off so much cool teen energy. I, bro, it's it's awesome. It's the Ranger Pokemon, and it kind of steps, it kind of starts alluding to what this Pokemon can turn into, and it gets even better with the evolution of Gastronaut. I love it. Grass and ground type, solid typing like Torterra. I love it. I, I just love this Pokemon. I love the posing. And I know Jack said multiple times he would love to like change them up again. Nah, bro, these are they're clean. Don't even worry about it. these are clean. I love it. I don't know if it's my starter choice, but I really like this Pokemon a lot. Uh, so next up we have uh, Quetzalil, and this is another fan favorite. It's just, it looks so cool. It looks so simple. Obviously, this was still kind of following the methods of, you know, the whole, the Chinese year of, of the fire starters. That is no more with Fue Coco, but this still is amazing. It's still a very different snake design, so I like it a lot. As if uh, Quetzal, it, it has a good, like, teenage, like, kind of royalty, a little snooty. I love it. And then, oh, oh. First of all, going with the type Fire Dragon, everyone's so scared to give a starter dragon, and they and Jack just wasn't. Quazillion looks amazing. I love this Pokemon so much. A good special attacker. I usually always go for the fire types, so I'm slightly leaning towards it, not gonna lie. Then we have Poor Sight. The one of the most adorable water Pokemon I've ever seen. I love I love the bubble, the translucency, the line art. Everything is phenomenal. That shiny is incredible. Come on now. Come on now. You and I both know that shiny is dope. All right. Next up, we have Seto Echo. The name. The name. Ex this is one of the best Pokemon names ever created. Seto Echo. It just, it just rolls off the tongue so well. And I always tell people, if you're making a Fakemon, I feel like the name should roll off well. Seto Echo just, oh. It is incredible. Water Psychic. The Sonar Pokemon. It has, like, its actual... Bubbles have turned into headphones, very teen of this Pokemon. It's, it's incredible. It's so many different philosophies of Pokemon art and, and, and traditional art, and, and it's just so much characteristics to it. I love it so much. And then we have Bathygigas. Um, tough, tough. It looks like a giant speaker, still has headphones on. It just looks incredible. Now, this Pokemon is going to be slow, but with good HP, good special defense, it, it could be a, a solid wall. But I think for me, personally, I think for me, I might have to go with Quetzillion. This Pokemon is tough. Fire Dragon's a great typing. And I just love how it breaks all the normal conventions. It's a Fire Dance Pokemon. It, it, it's a, it came from a snake, but it fits so well. It fits so well. I love it. I love the characteristics of it. I don't care that it's bipedal. It's just incredible. So this is the starter I'm starting with. I think Quetzillion is, is, is my go-to. Or I could pull an Ash Ketchum and grab up a Gastronaut too, and I got two starters, but let's, we'll see, we'll see. We'll look at the full team at the end, but let's go ahead and check out the standard Pokedex for this game. Oh, and really quickly, there is some images online, and I'm not sure if they're canon, but these Pokemon, all three have a Gigantamax form. They all look incredible and really emphasize what the starter Pokemon has going for it, so I would still love for these to be canon, but if they're not, that's cool, but here are the three Gigantamax forms for your starter Pokemon. 
So uh, let me know which one you're choosing. All right, to help us kick off the normal Pokedex, we have Pakuna, the normal type. This Pokemon, of course, being like our Rattata, being like a Lechonk, our Bidoof, a very simple Pokemon adding to our team if we want it. But we have a Laguna turning into a normal and fairy type. Very cute, very adorable. Love the Crescent Ear uh, or Crescent Moon Ears. I love that little detail. And this one actually gets a Mega, which is cool. I did see this like when I opened up the file, this is incredible. It becomes an ice and fairy type. Love the shiny, by the way. It just, I don't know what else you could want. I don't know, I don't know what else you could want from this. This is so damn good. Let's continue as we have a uh, runner, or runner. It is a really cool Pokemon being a normal and flying type. Um, I like it. It's simple, it's to the point as it does evolve into an Aviore. Also incredible, another electric and flying type like our boy Kilowattro and Wattrel. I do, you can already see the inspiration with the pre-evolution of this Pokemon, but once it turns into Road Raptor, it becomes very, very set that this Pokemon is going to be speedy, it's going to be good, it's going to be set, and it's it's a Raptor Pokemon. It, it's it, it's a it's a Roadrunner, it's a Raptor all in one, and that is really really cool. I like this Pokemon a lot. I think it might be the flying type for my team. Uh, oh snap! Oh okay 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 for sure. You're on the team. Road Raptor, you're on the team. An electric and flying type mega evolution Pokemon. Th this is great. I love the shiny. Comes with Gale Wings. If I remember that ability is pretty solid, but I know it got nerfed like a couple years ago. On the team. On the team, you're on the team, you're on the team. This is incredible. I really like this design. I like the, the extra stars because it's the shooting star Pokemon. So it has a star and the wings and then the star and its tip. Dude, you guys killed it. You guys killed this design, oh my. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's continue. We got Mini Mellow. This Pokemon arguably might be one of the most like um, iconic Pokemon to the Mazo region. It, it is one of the coolest looking bug Pokemon of all time. It is amazing. Comes with Swarm, the Sugar Ant Pokemon. I love this Pokemon so much. Then we have uh, Chikata, also great. I know that he did change this art a couple different times, but still incredible. I love the colors on this Pokemon, but it evolves into one of the coolest bug Pokemon ever created. Nocta Vispa. You are on the team. You are on the team. I'm easily going over six Pokemon. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna have reserves. There's no way in hell I am choosing just six Pokemon. There's no shot. These these are they're too damn good. Nocta Vispa? It's it's so good. The name is amazing. Attack stat is bonkers. You're on the team. You're on the team. Oh wait. Oh, I went back. I went back. My bad. I went back. And it gets a, it gets a mega. Yeah, it's a wraps. You're on the team, bro. My team's looking stacked. I don't know about your team, but I know about my team, and my team's looking stacked. I'm set. The shiny clean as hell. I'm content with the first three Pokemon I have. All right, Tachupi, dude. Tachupi is easily one of my favorite designs of this region. This Pokemon, for those who don't know, as you can see at the bottom, it has a split evolution now for neos i did so many split evolutions because i love for people to have choices and this little to choopy this little you know this this little puppy pokemon is perfect it is perfect in every way it's a little chihuahua pokemon i love it so it has two different forms either evolving at level 24 just anywhere or 24 in a cave and of course i have to choose loop lupa cabra is amazing lupa cabra is easily one of the coolest Pokemon of all time. This is like the Lucario, the Zoro Arc. It just has, it is it is amazing. And then you have Zolopine being a dark and water type. So I think it's, yeah, pure dark and then uh, dark and water. This is a really great design too. I love the hand motif. Such a, such a good Pokemon, such a cool Pokemon. All right, we're jumping into the Ghosties with Little Reina and it looks really adorable, giving me like mischievous vibes. I like this one actually a lot. Looks really, really good. We have Yaquina, which is another great Pokemon. Again, all these seem they're gonna be just ghost and water type, which is which is great because I feel like we should get more of this typing. And it comes with a new ability called Grim Tears, which sounds really good. Like sounds like really, really cool. And then uh, we have his final evolution, just looking even more menacing. I love the characteristics with the hair. It's kind of like a bent over lady. I believe it's supposed to It's cool. I know this Pokemon we picked up. This will have a really, really cool, uh, like, gym leader for it. So I'm all for it. I'm all for the Pokemon itself. We have Rotatona, which looks incredible. It does not evolve, but is a ground and fairy type. We need more Pokemon with this typing. I don't know if we have an official Pokemon with this typing, 
but we need it. It's it's like it's like it's well overdue that we need a Pokemon with this typing. The next up we have one of my fan favorites. It, it, it's 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 a Chispika is amazing. I love this Pokemon so much. Electric and Fighting. Fighting is my favorite typing of all Pokemon types, and it just fits so well. It's such a cool Pika clone. It would take on those like Halucha in battle, and it would be sick. It would be awesome to see. I love it. Comes with Scrappy, Unburdened. Dude, I love this. This is it's so cool. And the shiny. The shiny is so good. I love it. Incredible Pokemon. Alright. Next up we have Arimano. And it uh it looks it looks great. It looks great. It's a simple bug. Dragon type. Again, I don't know why Pokemon is scared of this typing. Give us more bug and dragons. Uh, that would be just super clutch. It doesn't evolve, but it looks really, really cool. I love the false eyes on top of his head. It looks really, really good. Next up, we have Ellie Goop, a rock and poison type. Now, every good Fakemon region, I feel like, needs at least one good elephant Pokemon. And Ellie Goop fits that. It's adorable. The shiny looks like it has almost like ice cream on it. And I love the tar aspect. I guess it, it kind of ties in with some of like the fossils and, and things like that or tar within Mexico. I don't know, but if it does, that is super sick. I'm going to go back and watch all the videos after this to see how he drew these and stuff like that. I saw some of these. But not all of them and it evolved into tar tusk this is a dope pokemon this is super good it's beefy it's really beefy high defenses high hp but tar tusk i love it rock and poison again really good typing i think uh, i know one earthquake though this pokemon's gone uh <laughs> so that's it, it's, it's just really cool to see though i love like a good elephant or mammoth pokemon and this kind of hits the nail on all of it and it has like a like, almost like a caveman tar vibe and i think that's really cool too uh, next up we have Chixalub, hopefully our Chixalob. It, it's it looks cool. It looks like a meteor coming from the earth And I think it kind of explains that with like the like the meteor bits kind of being like their own individual thing and Rock and fire is pretty cool, right? Uh, whoa, 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 it gets a mega. It looks draconic though It looks super draconic um, I love it. It looks cool. It looks like it's more pieced together now like it's an actual unit and using those extra you know meteor parts as like hands to go into battle with this pokemon looks sick it has a high special attack though this pokemon will be a menace good speed too charcopo coming through looking like an amazing little fishy pokemon has an opal right on top of his head i love the colors of the opal it looks so good he did like a shiny opal on the on the shiny as well this looks so good this looks so good as it evolves it gets even cooler this is like if Sharpedo was better, but also Rock and Fa Rock and Fairy too. I, I love that the fact that we're getting so many good Fairy types early on. Ah, I don't know if I should add it to my team or not. I'm tempted though. That's a really cool design, and then it has like, like almost like a um, almost like an opal saw, or I guess tooth that looks like a saw in its mouth. That I guess it would grind and attack with. Though the details are so dope. Oh my goodness, Maractus getting love. I think I saw this in one of the thumbnails, one of the videos, but it looks like it's been redesigned quite a bit. Maractus looks incredible. Maractus needs more love, and it should be the very obvious pick for a grass and fire type. It looks so good. I like it. Looks clean. Oh, snap. Mudbray getting a form? Fairy ground. Please. Pokemon, give this typing. Give this typing. It looks great. Jack, you killed this. Comes with a new ability called uh, Party Popper. It evolves via shell bell. Is that what that item is? I think that's I think that's a shell bell. I love the colors. It looks like a pinata. Yeah, it looks like a pinata that should be you know the little kids be hitting, you know? And, oh, there we go. Must mache. It it looks like a pinata! Dude, it looks so good. The shiny looks so good, but the original colors, it's bright, it's colorful. And that's why the abilities party That's why the abilities party popper. Jack, you're Yo, you're a genius. You're a genius. The Fiesta, po the Fiesta Pokemon, bro. I love it. I love this. I love this Pokemon so much. Mm. On the team? With Fairy and Ground? Might be on the team. Mudmache, you might just be on the team. I love it. Hey, we got Meowth coming in. Fighting type? Oh, oh. I love a good fighting type. Meowth is a fighting type. It's interesting. Love the shiny all white. It's a really, really cool as it evolves into Persian. Oh, so it didn't switch like the evolution like a Berserker or anything. It went back to the roots of like regional Meowth turning into like a regional Persian. I like it. It's it's simple, it's very clean. It kind of has like it's wearing a, like a helmet of some kind, like a warrior's helmet. I like it, looks good. 
<gasps> now I remember this. I, I remember its design being different. This is Oxel Small, Oxel Small, Small, Oxel Small. It, it looks incredible. If I'm correct, this Pokemon is the uh, pseudo legendary. It's the pseudo legendary of the region. It's based off of Axolotl, of course. And I guess they're called pups when they're small. It, it, it looks so cool. Comes with dry skin for the ability. It looks adorable. Oh, and Fibark. That looks so good. I love the colors. I love that it's water and fire, so we're not even getting a dragon pseudo legendary. It water and fire, and it gets swift swim. Knocked out the park. Did you knock this one out the park? Ah, para Paraloxal. This looks incredible. This looks great, and I, again, I love the fact that we have a pseudo. We can get a pseudo that is not a dragon type. I feel like I, I'm starting to agree with more people that pseudo should be able to have more types than just dragon. Like, there's so many other mythical strong creatures or aspects you can pull from. Gohilla, the tiny terror Pokemon. Oh, this Pokemon's super tiny, but a pure poison type. It looks super adorable. I like it. I like it. It's super simple. It's to the point. As it evolved into Mega Gohilla. It's also super tiny, but it packs a powerful punch. Oh, but it has a really cool ability. It's called Radioactive, so when it's hit with a, uh, HP, it restores HP when it hit with an electric or poison move. That's crazy, and it turns into a poison electric type. Dude, that could be a really, really good like bait and switch Pokemon. You know they're gonna use Thunderbolt or some kind of electric move or, or um, Gunk Shot or something. It, bro, that's clutch. That's good on a competitive level, I, I think. But um, I, I see like the Godzilla inspiration. It, it's there, it's there. It's like Bolo, I guess it's Bolo. <laughs> it looks like a Pokeball. And I saw this Pokemon before, it looks incredible. Cause I know with the evolution, it turns into Dupidello. It looks like a great ball, Incre uh, phenomenal. The shiny is a master ball. The shiny for the other one is a premier ball. Hands down one of the best like gimmick Pokeball Pokemon ever created. Incredible, both are steel types too. So that's also really cool to see. I just, I just love a good Armadillo Pokemon too. Looks awesome. So we have uh, Kofrozen, or, or Kofrozen, uh the frozen form, poison and ice, but if it thaws out, it becomes its thawed form being a pure poison type. I remember seeing this video, such a cool Pokemon, such just like a really cool gimmick for it. Um, and then again, you have the ability to freeze over to re-enter the form. So I like both, both are sick. I think it's based off of like those little um, like frog statues that he's showing off in the video based off just again things on, in Mexican culture and stuff like that Which is really really dope to see then we have Roselia of course being one of the most iconic Ties into like just Mesoamerican culture Mexico culture it, You know playing on you know day of the dead being a, a grass and ghost I almost said fire a <laughs> green a grass and ghost type Pokemon uh, looks super good And then we have Rose Raid. I mean Phenomenal, 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 phenomenal. I love it, I love it, I love it. Then we have Frizzard, a dragon and ice type Pokemon, the Freon Pokemon. I remember, I think he made these during the like, um, it was like a dragon challenge, I think. It was like a month long dragon challenge. But it gets a Mega? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I did, I did not know this. Comes with Thermacool, which like boosts the ice type moves in harsh sunlight. Oh my goodness. It looks so beefy. It looks so. It looks so techy. It looks so cool. I like it. Love the shiny. I love the shiny on. Oh, it's a shiny. I love the shiny. The shiny for this would be so cool. This would be that. You know that. That's so cool. That's funny. Oh, I didn't see this one. Zarcoil, the radiator Pokemon. So it's like the opposite. So literally, literally get, literally get, uh, Frizzard. Get Zacoil and then Duraludon. And I feel like that would make a really cool, like, dragon trio. That'd be really cool, in my opinion. Does this have a Mega 2? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're not on the team. I already have a Fire and Dragon type. But that's a damn good Pokemon. That's a damn good Pokemon. Therma Heat, which gets, it gets Fire Boosted moves in a Hailstorm, so it swaps. Dude, that's so good. Oh, my goodness. Next up, we have Suchip. And it looks like very gibble coated. I like this though. We need more Pokemon like this. The gluttony is eating, it's eating everything left and right. Super adorable. Love the shiny on that too. Kind of gives like again like a 
like almost like a Fue Coco, Gibble, Croconaw vibe, which I, I think is cool. Oh, this looks great. The Forbearance Pokemon with Gluttony, Strong Jaw. It looks like that the actual, it's back is a, a full on jaw. It's going to town. Evolves at 38. Solid Pokemon. I like it. Dragon Poison. There's so many like cool like dragon and, and insert typing here. This is a cool one. Damn, it gets a Mega 2 with Corrosion? Oh, this is tough. Oh, I love the posing. I love the posing that this right here is the gluttony part. Like this is the gluttony portion of the Pokemon. I like it. Uh, so we have Makaraba being a bug and ghost type. It looks like it's like in a little vase. It's a little screeching Pokemon. I like it, it looks cool. Ah, oh, Dunsended. It blows the Dunsparce out the water. Pretty much every Pokemon like evolution of Dunsparce that I've seen is just always better than Dun Dunsparce. This is incredible. The Enigma Pokemon, you kill this. I remember seeing this in a video. I remember seeing this in thumbnails. Remarkable work. I, this is incredible. So we have a bat Pokemon that has like these little chains on it, which I don't think Pokemon typically does like chains in their designs, but I feel like for this region, it fits super, super well. Comes with the ability Levitate, which gives you that uh, that uh, ground weakness, Steel Dark. Cool little bat Pokemon. Does it evolve? Oh, no evolution. But we have Kramen, a, uh, a new psychic and flying type Pokemon. It's it's really adorable. It's really, really cute. Psychic flying, which I feel like we should have more psychic flying type. I think it's mainly just like Lugia, Zatu, maybe a few others, but not but not that many, right? Then we have Corvoyant. This Pokemon also looks really cool. Is this a middle stage or a final stage? Oh, it is a middle stage, because then we have its final evolution here. Looking just super, super high beauty, high lady. It's just, it's well, it looks wealthy, just like the description. It looks super wealthy. Is there, is this like a female exclusive? No, it's just, okay, it's not female exclusive, so it kind of just starts off like it lights all these shiny objects. It evolves, it has like a, a keen eye for valuable items, as it says there, and then it becomes one of the most like elite and wealthy Pokemon within this region. I, I like it. Looks cool, magic bounce for the ability. Kind of reminds me of like a, a different Honchkrow. Like it'd be like a rival to Honchkrow. All right, so next up we have Bird Brawl being a fighting and flying type, the hyperactive Pokemon. It looks like a little hummingbird. It looks quick, it looks fast. It looks like something I might have to add to the team as it evolves into Humbeat. Wait, what the hell happened to its speed? Its speed went down to 35, the exhaustion Pokemon. Uh, though they can fly, Humbeat has actually diminished all their energy reserves and they prefer to walk. This Pokemon has gotten lazy. Please bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Yeah, baby, on the team. Hummy Pummel on the team of Fairy and Fighting type. Fairy and Fighting is a really good typing. I don't think it's better than Fairy and Steel, but Fairy and Fighting is a really good typing. Very offensive. This is a banger. This is a banger. I need it. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. Swift Strike Pokemon. I need it. I need it. Then we have Babanaw, like Banana, Banana Naw, Banana. <laughs> banana is a banana Pokemon. It's a fish. It's a banana. It's 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 cool. It's yeah, it's cool. Nana High looks pretty cool. I like it. It's simple. It's to the point. It's a banana fish. Like it's that's just what it is, right? Whoa, whoa. Is this like a split evolution? It, it looks. It's a rotten. It's a banana peel. Whoa. Interesting. So I'm assuming this is a separate Pokemon that may even hunt these two. Even though this looks like really, it looks very, it looks very ferocious. It looks like it would be the aggressor, but this might be the aggressor. I gotta watch the lore videos. I'm not 100% sure. This looks, but it looks really, really good. All right. Whoa, whoa. Titanotrop, dude, this, we're getting, we're getting an evolution. We're getting an evolution to, to Tropius? That's dope. Much needed. That Pokemon sucks. So this is incredible. Oh, this is phenomenal, actually. Uh, looks like Nosepass is getting something a little bit here, too, with a regional form being a rock and fighting type. Still being the compass Pokemon that knows his nose and looks kind of cool. Then we have Nose Punch. <laughs> yeah, like a fun play on like Nose Punch. It uses the head, it uses the hands. I like it. Are you on the team, though? Oh, it comes with Levitate? Oh, this might be a beast. This might be a beast. Hold on might be a beast i might add it to the squad i don't know i'm gonna look at it 
Next up we have Beak Peep. It's super cute. It's a chicken with a with like a rocky steel helmet. It looks super good. It's super cute. As it evolves into Beak Raft. Oh, it has a so this will have a um, a male and female variant here in just a second as we'll see. Um, it's the builder Pokemon. His head looks like a hammer. His tail looks like nails. Just this so this it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so great. This is it's so clean. I love this actually. And then I think the other one is like a saw. I don't know all the handyman instruments, but this looks super good too. I love the yellow on the design. They carried the yellow over super well. It has like a saw. It's, it's got like I want to say like almost like a grip, like a vice grip or something. They they work. I see why. Like these are the perfect couple pair for life because he can hammer it and get things in, and she can pull them out and then slice them up. I incredible, incredible designs. Oh snap! A little monkey boy. Now for those who don't know, I love monkey Pokemon, and this is no exception. This is incredible. I love it. The Fisher Pokemon. It's a pure normal type. Eight angler. Uh, it looks great. It angler looks. I like it. I like it a lot. I like this Pokemon a lot. Whoa! It gets a Mega, but it gets a Mega where it fuses. Wait, 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 wait. So wait, do I need to have? Do I need to go back and catch this other Pokemon? Do I? Do I need Nana High? Do I need Nana High? Do I need that Pokemon to have this one? I have so many questions. It becomes a normal Water type. It has tamed the banana. The monkey Pokemon has tamed the banana. Its stats are nuts. 120 speed, 100 HP, 100 attack. It is a monster. What the hell? <gasps> Evolutions, Gustion. This is what this is. This is. I'm gonna say it. This is the best flying type evolution I have ever seen. This is hands down the best flying type evolution I have ever seen. The colors are remarkable. The colors are incredible. The, the, the cloud aspect, the wispy tail look like a tornado. 10 out of 10. I'm 15 out of 15 out of 10. 35 out of 10. This is incredible work. Gustion is amazing. It is it is literally amazing. And then we have Terion, which I believe Claire did help out with this one. Then you reformatted it for like a really more Pokemon style. It also looks great. The mud puppy Pokemon. You evolve this one in the mountains, you evolve this one in the caves. Incredible. Pokemon, Pokemon, give us more evolutions. What are you doing? You teased us with a couple. Give us just the rest of them. Just do the rest of them. That's easy marketing. That's easy money. What the hell? Just do it. Corn Pokemon. Um, my girlfriend loves corn. She actually has, my girlfriend has seen this Pokemon. She loves it. It's adorable. It's actually one of her favorite from the region. She hasn't seen all the region, but she saw me watching it one day and since she loves corn, she's like, I like that Pokemon a lot. So this is this is already a winner in my book. It's a, this, it's like a duo corn Pokemon. I love that you have other color corn with the shiny. That looks really, really good. We have Zusk, which is like a compiled piece of corn, like a little colony. It looks super good. You still see that white corn is being like angry representative, as you see right there. And it, it looks so good. It looks so good. We have a new little corn that's a little little funny guy. I like it a lot. It looks like a full corn on the cob, which I think is really, really cool, right? Oh, Blazia turns into a dark and fire type. It is the burnt kernel Pokemon. So if you use a sunstone or a firestone, depending on what you use, you get a different Pokemon. So it can start off as a pure grass type, and then I can end it with a pure grass or a dark and wow. Oh, that concept is, is big brain. The extra like, I guess like fluff on it is like smoke. The colors look incredible. Oh my goodness. The husk is darker, not as green as this one. Damn, I don't know what to choose. That's so good. Then we have Cabrawler. This Pokemon looks super sick being a ground type now instead of a fighting type. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like Crabominable, but I imagine that Jack would actually swap that Pokemon out for something else. As we have Crusting, the ground and steel type Pokemon. It looks cool. It's a low rider because I, I, I get it because I, I guess like low riders are like really popular in like Mexican culture. I you know I, I know some I know some. I'm, I'm gonna save myself some uh, potential. Yeah. <laughs> let's just let's just skip it. Crusting looks incredible. I like this Pokemon. It looks really really cool. Uh, next up we have a Cafe, Rock, Cafe Caracha, which is a roach. It's like a roach bean Pokemon, because it's based off of, uh, you know, Cafe Car Oh god, I almost hit the cup off the table. That would have been bad. 
Uh, you know, it's based off of coffee, it's based off of a Karacha, which is roach. I don't like roaches, but this Pokemon is super dope. Bug Electric, super cool, makes sense for the energy aspect. It evolves into Flit Jitter, because it's jittery. It's flitting around, it's moving, and I and I think that's really cool. Shiny's dope. Oh, the hell is this? Mega Zatu? Okay, so, well, first of all, why Zatu? But also, great pick. I feel like that's always the one inconsistency with Pokemon. They always give Megas to the bangs. This is a Pokemon that needs a Mega, and this looks great. It, it opens up like two extra eyes. It's staring into my soul right now, but it adds in like a really cool fu- Incredible. Phenomenal, amazing. That looks so cool. Mega Flygon, heck yeah! Heck yeah, Bug Dragon! Easily one of the coolest designs. You play into the bug aspect with the extra arms. The wings look incredible. You can see the translucency in them. And then you get like just more like goggle. It looks great. It looks great. I don't have anything to say. It just looks great. This is this is remarkable. Vanillite becoming an ice and psychic type turning into a snow cone Pokemon. That's pretty cool. That's that's a really good one. It has like a little berry on top too. Alright. And we get Vanillas, which is adding more berries to it. Uh, and also just a snow cone. You should have, in my opinion, for the shiny, you should have changed like the, the green part to blue. That would have been really, really cool. And then we have Vanillux being a full-on double scooped snow cone with all the berries and the juices. It looks damn good. Next we have Kanagan, the head knife Pokemon. This looks super sick. This actually looks really, really cool. I like this a lot. This is super dope. Uh, as we next have Kahatchet. So we're playing with the Ka, the Kanagan, the Kahatchet. And it just emphasizes more of like that that uh, little little knife spearhead turning into a full on axe. So I imagine the final evolution is going to be like a sword, right? Oh, get, ma, what? Makhawert? Okay. It, it just the straight up, yeah, the straight up arsenal Pokemon. It's got axes it has a saw blade it has the extra rigids it looks really cool it's a rocket dark type incredible typing jagged edge uh, edge so it lands more critical hits banger this is a banger this is a banger i like this whole line is this a pseudo legendary it should be if it's not it should be this is dope that's super cool so you have a warzall it it looks it looks good it looks like it could be like a prehistoric version of like other bird pokemon and then you can say like it leads into like Cramorant and other birds. That's simple, it's clean. Oh, okay, never mind. It turns into Spectre's all and, and it, it's a really dope looking ghost and rock type. This thing looks menacing and it's also huge. Oh my goodness. Next up we have Cosmet. This thing is adorable. The small step Pokemon is surrounded itself in a bubble of hyper cooled water, hence why it's ice. This is dope. It's like in a bubble, but it's kind of like an alien. Ah, oh, I don't know what to think. What? Glacier Cuddle? It, it's, a, it's so cute. I like this so much. And it's, it's like its body is fusing with the rocket or some kind of ship. But it's using the bubble. It's like a, an, it's, it looks like a space suit, rocket ship, alien, all into one. The Giant Leap Pokemon. So it went from small step to Giant Leap. To the visitor Pokemon. Oh, Kyogre looks incredible. So its feet can still touch the ground, but its body is shaped like within the bubble, like a ship flying through the air. Comes with a new ability called Thermal Regulator. A hyper cool bubble gives you a full immunity to ice type. That is. That's good. I mean, one brick break, break, though. This Pokemon's out for the count. But. Being immune to fire types makes this Pokemon at least a lot more viable. That is dope. That's really good. Next up we have Mingot. It kind of reminds me of like that little creature uh, from uh, Fantastic Beast and Where Are They Now or whatever that movie is called. Fantastic Beast, the first one. Kind of reminds me of that little little thing that kind of collects coins. It's like it's it's simple. It's a Pokemon collecting you know Pokemon. Oh, Rustache. Has a giant mustache, has some really cool looking eyes, and also collects. So he has the ability Prospector. That's actually really cool. I like that. Imagine you had this Pokemon where it can find treasure outside of battle or 
it earns more rewards money you do that and then you also do meow's ability payday you'd be rich in the game <laughs> then we have a burmy okay burmy with the uh you know it has a maza form being a bug and normal type uh, and then it, oh, okay, actually, you stay, you got me, you got me. It turns into the confetti Pokemon, and it looks incredible. So no more Mothom, you get this beautiful confetti Pokemon. This looks really good. I love how the wings look different. There's just different shapes. It looks like a piece of like, of like the cut paper you would do for like a snowflake. <laughs> looks really damn good. I like that. So we have Gulpy, the ghost electric type Lagoon Pokemon. It looks like it uh, stays underwater and does its thing as it evolves into Malharo. It kind of reminds me of Basket Legion. Reminds me of Basket Legion. I, I like it though. It looks really good. The typing, Ghost Electric is great. I, I mean, I don't have much to say. I, I can see it having like a lot of deep lore where it's like, um, as it mentions here, it lives in the darkest parts of the ocean. So like fishermen have all these tales of the time they got almost taken by a Malaharo, you know, I think that'd be really, really cool uh, to have, or potentially catch and have on the team. Then next up we have Wormote. This Pokemon looks like a bug and remote. It looks like a remote, like, you know, almost like one of these bad boys. It looks, it looks like a remote. Hell yeah, this looks pretty cool. It's a Glowworm Pokemon, so I'm guessing the, the tail glows in multiple spots as I can kind of see there. Um, looks dope. And, uh, yeah, because it has like that little bulb, like you know how like some remotes have that little ball, like little bulb at the end for like you know receiving the infrared signal. It looks, yeah, this looks dope. And then it evolved into Strella Vision, the solo form. Oh, we got a form Pokemon. We have like a cluster form, a school form, almost like a wishy washy. So this Pokemon's not that big. It's it's pretty tall. It's like, it's two feet tall. Um, so it's like a decent. It's, it's so so right. Um. Okay, interesting, the Glamour Pokemon. So it either has a big mustache for the males, and then for the females it has that long curly hair, as it has the Stella Vision swarming form, and it turns into a giant TV. This looks great. This looks great, it uses like the RPG, and yeah, dude, this is so good. Such a, damn, 25 feet tall, damn, okay. Really doing that. Next we have Lumipop, this looks so good. Shout out to Emilio for actually making the art on this one. I guess uh, it was so good. Jack was like, I'm not even gonna touch it. This looks, it looks so good. Psychic Poison, I have my own Psychic Poison type. It don't look this good. This thing looks awesome. I love the extra eye on the tail, which should play into its evolution if it has one. Oh, Lomilico? Yeah, 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 yeah. You might be on the team, Chief. You might be on the team for real. Oh, that's tempting. That is, that is damn tempting. Oh my goodness. Cause it has like a pattern, but it has colors. And again, I think for like a Mexican based region, a Mesoamerican region, this fits so well. The next up we have Joster, a flying and rock type Pokemon. Oh, it looks like a, like a, like a Jack in the box. Like and it comes out, but it's like made out of paper. It looks cool. I like it. This looks, this looks pretty good. I can also see it being like a dragon type too. What the hell? I beg your pardon, Ditto gets a form? This incredibly rare Pokemon has only been encountered by a handful a handful of times. Very little has been documented about this Pokemon. So it can turn into like a dark form of your Pokemon? What? What? Wait, so this Pokemon has the ability Suspicious. The Pokemon transforms itself into an imperfect copy of the Pokemon it's facing, altering their stats and assigning itself a random ability? Oh, I gotta see the lore. I gotta see the lore on this. This, this, is, this is nuts. Oh, that's so dope. All right, next up we have Ekans, which is snake backwards, if you, if you didn't know. You should know that, right? Uh, we have Ekans. It's Ekans. It's a poison and dark type. Ekans needs something. It's about time. So this looks really, really sick. It, that is not what I expected, but it looks more ferocious. It's a great swap. It's a Mamba Pokemon. I, I like it. It's simple, but it still holds a lot of the values of like Ekans, but then it has like the tail that'll rattle. Oh, cast form getting a new form. So I guess alongside all the other original cast forms, it has a brand new form with Sandy, which obviously will kick up sandstorms. That's simple, it's to the point, I like it. Mega Milotic, now this right here is what everyone wants for Pokemon Legends ZA. This looks sick, whoa. So this Pokemon comes into battle, it can actually cut your Pokemon stats for three turns. What the hell? You gotta get a Pokemon that can bounce the ability back or something. What the hell? 
Skarmory? Skarmory needs it. Skarmory needs it. Milotic deserves it. Skarmory needs it. Like, Skarmory actually needs a Mega, and this looks incredible. Super sharp, super clean, better stats, more attack, even better defense, solid speed. Yeah. Turn this thing into, like, a true steel slicer. I love it. Looks damn good. Magikarp even gets something? Magikarp becoming a rock and a water rock type. Good as gold? No shot. The golden idol Pokemon? What the hell? So it keep it's it's what Eldorado is an Eldorado Gyarados? Is that what I'm getting right now? This thing is dope. Water rock, you obviously have to worry about some more weaknesses, but good as gold? Oh my goodness, that ability is cracked. Then we have a uh, Phytide, a brand new Pokemon, little little algae Pokemon. Looks really damn good. I like it. I like it. Then we have a uh, its evolution here, which looks great. Poison Water type, the red the red type Pokemon has the ability Healing Sun, as well. I like it. It's it's like a little Stingray, a little algae, a little and then turns into a bigger Stingray Pokemon. Looks looks really cool. Next up is Krabby. Cra Krabby getting love? I mean, Krabby did get a G-Max from a couple years ago, but it's more of a bug type Pokemon as it's the false crab Pokemon with the ability iron uh, barbs and adaptability. Oh, but that's it? That's it? Oh, do we not get the picture of the evolution? Oh, I don't think we got the picture of the evolution. That's Megaladian though, and that looks sick. But really quickly, um, I'll put on the screen here. This is what I guess the Kingler would look like. Is that is it Kingler or a different form? I don't know, but it probably looks super dope. I'll probably be looking at it after. It looks probably cool as hell, right? But we do have a Mega Ladian, and this thing looks dope as hell. Ladian needs love. Ladian needs love, and this looks so damn good. I actually really want to do a Ladian evolution for my region. This looks awesome i think this pokemon should get a mega and i'm hoping i am praying to see it in the brand new game this looks so damn good looks great and porygon porygon c gets a mega 635 these stats are crazy we don't know much about it it has the ability data corrupted all normal type moves become oh what the hell so it's like it's like librio or libero or protein or whatever mixed with adaptability that's cracked that's busted okay 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 on that note let's go ahead and check out all the legendary pokemon for the mazo region all right to kick off our legendaries we have reggie wood the grass type reggie pokemon i remember seeing these silhouettes during the april fools of that year they look incredible they look great it's a reggie it's a grass reggie reggie tree reggie wood it looks great right then we get Reggie Brute, the homunculus Pokemon. It's on the team. If not, it's in reserve. I caught it. I have it. It is a Brute. It has muscle segments. What else could you want? What else could you want? A fighting Reggie? Reggie Brute? He got hands. I need him. He's on the team. Or in reserves. I don't care. He's 200. Oh my God, I'm spitting. I'm spitting. Oh my God, I'm spitting everywhere. 200 attack? We molly him. We molly whopping people, that's crazy. And then Regiturnal, the constructor Pokemon, fairy typing, it looks incredible. This looks super sick, it just looks like happiness, it looks like warmth, it looks like light. It looks great, it looks so good. Uh, I'm guessing this is a uh, part of the quartet. I remember seeing like small bits of this here and there. This is part of a quartet of like water Pokemon. I don't know the lore behind them, but I bet you it's cool. Uh, so we have the first one being a water grass type. It, it looks really good. I like the fact that like its wispiness kind of connects full to its face all the way down to its legs. It's not just like a, a sea goddess or a sea spirit. It has a little bit more to it, which is really cool. Then we have Maloborn, which it, it's using like its body part to like as it's like prey, like it's weeping. And you can see it's a little bit more decrepit. It's the coral reef Pokemon, so it's like it's it's coral that's breaking off. That looks super dope. A water dark type. This one looks super cool. I actually like it a lot. Shiny's also nice. Ooh. Malamander? Okay. This looks really good. Water Psychic, the open ocean Pokemon. I'm guessing it's really known for... Oh, so it's a part of the Legendary Sirens pack. They're all Sirens, the Legendary Sirens. And it's known for having a beautiful voice. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. 
And then we have Malumist or Milumist. Milumist. The deep sea Pokemon is the rarest one to encounter. So I can see like in the region, you're going to be going after all four of these for some kind of lore. That is super dope. And this one, it has just a completely different vibe. It's a lot more dark. It looks like a fish. It, it, it kind of adds in like way more of like an element. You would see it like in the very deep of the ocean curled up. And then as you battle it, it unfolds and you can see it's, yeah, this is super cool. I like it. I like it. Then we have Drag Taco, which I don't remember what this is about, but it's a dragon taco. I'm assuming he made this roughly about the time he had all the other dragon month stuff going. Which I try, if I could check it out more, I would. Uh, this Pokemon has a flexible hide and reduces the damage from physical attacks. It has seven special attack. What the hell? Seven or ten speed? Holy crap, 182 attack. 153 HP. I mean, it's it's bulky and it'll hit you. Damn. Um, <laughs> this this is cool. This is this is a cool concept because its back is like nachos, but it's like a dragon. Then its head has got the lettuce, the tomato, the cheese tongue. Yeah, this is super dope. I like this a lot. Oh, then we have the legendary Pokemon of the game. This one being Maripom. And it looks phenomenal. It almost is Ultra Beast like. This is incredible. I remember seeing this Pokemon and just being blown away. This is, it has the ability fight or flee. Whenever the Pokemon uh, enters battle, its speed is raised. That's crazy. A fighting, uh, more importantly, a bug type legendary. I think that's cool. Then next up we have Hylormos and it's an ice and poison type. Now this thing looks like a true predator, the first, hunter, the first hunter Pokemon with the ability predatory. It looks like a predator. This thing looks dope. Ice and poison, another unused Pokemon typing. Thank goodness you use this. It looks phenomenal, and I think it works super well as a as a legendary. Like good typing for a legendary. Great, great size, great menacing value. I these both look incredible and they're very contrasting in color and in design and just like how lanky this one is versus how built and bulky this one is. So this one's made for attacking. I mean, damn, 130 speed, 100, it's fast for its, holy crap, what the hell? I think it's fast as hell. Oh my, third legendary, hello. Uh, probably gonna mess that name up, Elorimanda. It, it looks so, so majestic, so mystic. It is a dragon and psychic type. Interesting. Which is kind of cool because because of the bug typing, it can attack it. And because of the ice typing, it can also attack this third legendary Pokemon. Has the ability Shimmer Skin. Reduces the power of super effective attack. I mean, it has everything. It has everything. I love it. Shining is also very nice. I don't, I don't know. It, it, it just it looks incredible. It looks very majestic, very mystic, very beautiful. Love the colors looks great and i believe this right here is the last pokemon of the region i would say it's the mythical of the region uh say hello to boinkleby i believe this is based off of jack's dog um i love it this is super cool it has like all the cats around his neck and it's a fairy it's a flying type it, it's it looks super super cool it is a one of a kind pokemon that drift across the maza region dude this is this this was a this is a pretty stacked cast of legendary Pokemon. I mean, you got Reggie's, you got your quartet, you got obscene, obscure legendaries with with nacho cheese backs, and then you got sick legendaries that break the convention of what Pokemon would normally do with bug and fighting, ice and poison, and dragon and psychic, and you ended off with a really dope fairy and flying type. Jack, you have made an incredible region. This is this is remarkable, but also almost as remarkable as my brand new Maza region team. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, the new brand new Maza Pokemon that did make it onto my team. After some deep thought, my final team will be Quetzillian, Lupacabra, Hummy Pummel, Road Raptor, Paroxetal, and Mega Ladian. Though I will have a rotation of Nocta Vispa and its Mega Evolution, and also eight angler and its mega evolution because these Pokemon are too sick and I just need them in rotation for my team. But again, let me know what your full team will be for the entire Maza region. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this region also has a supporting fan game with Pokemon Untamed. And based on what I know and what I can look up, this game is still actively being worked on. But I know with the recent news of fan games and Pokemon, this could be a bit scarce for the future. 
but I'm hoping for the best because I would love to see it. But just in case there is not, there is some gameplay already out on different channels showing off the intro of the game, the starters, the Pokemon you can encounter alongside one of the gym leaders of the Maza region. So that's pretty cool. All in all, this region is easily one of the best regions I've covered on the channel, and I've covered tons of regions. There's a wide array of amazing Pokemon and even Megas that you can get in this region, so what else could you ask for? Again, I'm going to have to give a massive shout out to Jack and all of us objectively for making an amazing region and alongside more amazing Pokemon content that I cannot wait to check out in the future. But of course, be sure to support them in everything they do with the links in the description down below. Please subscribe to them if you haven't already. And hey, while you're down there, if you like Pokemon regions or Fakemon art, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more content just like this and much more coming. And hey, be sure to leave your comment of your team down below alongside the next Pokemon region we should cover here on the channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys all for watching. Again, Jack, thank you so much for letting me cover this amazing region. I will catch you guys all in the next one. Bye.